someone asked me before the meeting if I was going to a funeral. <laughs> and I said, not unless Maureen Foster blows her presentation, <laughs> which you did not. I honor you for your persistence and your consistence in this club. When I saw you were doing the bronze, I thought, oh, she's going to be a bronze, the bronze speaker. And then it was, oh. It's the manual we don't know about. <laughs> you're, a, you're a bronze leader now, and you're also a bronze speaker, so congratulations on achieving that. Your PowerPoint was very effective in, in my estimation, primarily because it's canned, and I've done those canned PowerPoints as well, so you did exactly what I was hoping you would do, but maybe you could have done a little more, but I like all of the pictures. The pictures are visual. Anybody that's been to conferences and seen PowerPoints that stink, you have to read them while the speaker's reading them, and you, you effectively stayed away from that. There are three things that I think you could have done to make this more effective. I did like the the chair that was out here in front. If you're going to do a serious topic, start happy and do like you did, which is end happy. So I, immediately you, you came out and you did use the phone, which I've used as well. This is a hard prop to get down. And you did struggle with that just a little bit, I feel. But you also should have come out happy. I'm happy and get the phone call, and then we drew, got drugged down. Oh, God, this is a shift storm. <laughs> <laughs> is that a word that we can use at those places? Sure, we can. Okay, so you know what I mean. <laughs> you could um, also watch for your audible pauses. I think that was just, a, you, you know that. And practice that phone conversation that is the toughest part, and I love that. I love that prop when you get a phone call on stage here. You know I do. <laughs> Collaboration was the key to this whole presentation. It really, it truly is. It, guns resonate with me because my daughter came up to me one time and said, Dad, I want to get a Glock. That's just what I did. <laughs> Finally, I said, shouldn't we get trained on it first? Thank God I didn't say no. You didn't. You ended happy. I loved it. Thank you.